Team CV Victor here with Celebrating Victories, giving you guys another video. And in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how I talk to an actual business owner. Um, how I convince them to try to get my ATM in their location, that way I can start making money. So stand by, stay tuned, and I hope you guys enjoy. So what was the last location you got? Um, the last location I got was the laundromat. All right, And I was actually driving uh, with my family on our way to go to my son's baseball practice, and I saw it. You know, and I ended up stopping. I went in there. I talked to the employee. The employee ended up calling the business owner, and I linked up with the business owner. Um, there was actually an ATM in there, but the ATM was always out of money. You know, really bad service by the ATM business owner. Um, so then he decided to for to allow me to put my ATM in there. So now that's where it's at. So when you walk in. Do you typically ask for the owner or do you talk to an employee? Um, it just kind of depends. You know, I'll usually just approach whoever I see first, the worker, and you know, I'll ask them if they might be interested in putting an ATM and then I'll just kind of gauge how that goes. If they just kind of shoot it down completely, entirely up front, then what I'll do, I'll ask them if they're the owner or I'll ask if there's a way I can communicate with the owner because really you don't want um, an employee to be making that decision um, because you just never know. They could think that, but that doesn't mean that the owner feels the same way. So usually I just talk to whoever I can see first and get some information from them and then I'll proceed to ask for the owner after that. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to role play with you guys as if you guys are the business owner. So I'm going to walk into your business, I'm going to talk to you, I'm going to answer your questions, and we're going to go with just like that. Hey, sir, my name is Victor. I was coming in today to see if you might be interested in putting a free ATM into your location. All right, I know you got a barbershop here. I just want to see if you might be able to, you know, interested in making some extra money at the end of the month. I'll give you a check. How does that sound? How much do I make? Um, it just kind of depends Depends on the, the number of transactions we do. Um, usually I start at about 25 cents per transaction. I'll give you 25 cents per transaction. And if it's performing really, really well, then I could even up that after a couple months we can renegotiate how much and I can give you some more. What if I want a dollar? Um, I can give you a dollar, but it changes a little bit. I'm going to give you a little bit more responsibility if you want a dollar. So if you want a dollar, what, what can happen is you could be the cash loader. So what that means, instead of me, you know, putting the ATM and filling it up every single week or two weeks or however often I have to fill it up, I can give you the responsibility to be able to fill it up yourself and then you can get an extra dollar and then you're just filling it up every single time and I can teach you how to do all that stuff. It's real simple. Okay, so quick question. Is a dollar a lot of commission for a standard ATM business? Um, it just depends. Like, it's, it is a lot if it's the, if I'm going to be doing it all myself. All right, if I'm going to be putting the ATM and buying the ATM and putting it down, bolting it down, coming in every so often to refill it, then yeah, a dollar can, can be a little bit more than I would like to pay. But again, if you come and you um, put your money in the ATM, then I can give you a dollar and that could be okay. Okay. Uh, okay, what if I don't want the ATM bolted down? Unfortunately for me, I want to bolt down every single ATM. And the reason why, um, there's a lot of issues. Or a lot of things can happen if the ATM isn't bolted. Not necessarily the ATM getting stolen. Obviously, that's a possibility if it's not bolted down. But more importantly, more severely, I guess it's going to be kids. All right, some kids could be running around, grabbing on the top of it, jumping on it, and then, you know, it could ultimately fall over you know, land on them and then we're dealing with a bigger issue than just having little holes inside the ground. And that's all it really is. If you do decide to bolt it down, um, they're just going to be little penny sized holes um, that you can't even really see. Even if we took out the ATM, they're just going to be there. And we can fill it up. We can fill them up with grout if we absolutely need to. If we're finding that it's an issue or you don't like it, we can just fill it up with grout if we do have to move the ATM. Mm, okay. Let's say I do let you put this ATM machine in here. How many transactions would you need in order for you to keep doing business with me? So in order for me to do business and for us to kind of continue doing business and me making enough money, we want to look at 120 transactions. If I'm doing 120 transactions, I'm giving you 50 cents per transaction, which is fair. I'll definitely consider giving you 50 cents and me filling it up, me putting the ATM in there, me buying it, me setting up everything with no, resp with no responsibility for you. 120 transactions would work for both of us, I think. Okay. How will I know that you're giving me the right commission? Can I check the transactions? Yeah, so typically what happens at the end of the month, they send out reports. All right, and with the reports, it shows how many transactions occurred, how much money was dispensed from the ATM, um, how many withdrawals, and all that good stuff. So I can show you that if you really need to. I usually don't. Most owners never really ask, but I could definitely do that for you if you like. So one last question, bro. Uh, has an owner ever asked or wanted to see the back end stuff, like transactions and how much money you make? 
No, not really. I'm pretty honest. I think they trust me for the most part. So, no, I never had anyone like ask or be concerned about what I was giving them. All right, guys. So hopefully that helps. That's my pitch, and that's what I talk about when I'm, you know, approaching a business owner. Uh, hopefully you guys can take some information and apply it to your business. Um, if you, I missed anything or if you have any questions at all, be sure to leave them in the comments below. And I'll talk to you guys with another video. Stay up, stay blessed, and much love.